Welcome, everybody, to another InventRight.com TV show. We have uh, Mr. Stephen Key, uh, InventRight co-founder, and I'm also an InventRight co-founder. My name is Andrew Krauss. we got another show for you, and what are we going to talk about, Stephen, on this show? Let's talk about royalty rates. Okay. How much I am I going to make? Andrew, how much, how much money am I going to make? I want 50%, man. <laughs> I came up with this invention. I should get 50% of the profits. You know? Am I off there? Uh, kind of, a little bit. That's, that's a little, <laughs> you know, that's why a lot of these deals don't make it. You know, you, here's, here's amazing, Andrew. We talk to a lot of people in this industry. We have a lot of students. And a lot of students that come to us that have made mistakes. And Before, when we say students, we call our clients students because we teach and coach and mentor. We have this education. Sometimes people ask me that. People are like, I, I, I want to become a student of yours, but I'm not in college. I'm like, no, 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 no. You're a student when we're teaching you and coaching and mentoring. I'm like, okay. Well, we, we, we look at it very differently, our community of, of um, students. But, but the bottom line is a lot of people come to us, and for some reason they made a huge mistake. And some of them are asking for too much. There's things that aren't reasonable, or they top-load a deal by – I want $100,000 up front. And yes, and I want a 20% royalty rate. They, they, they ask for these things that are just not practical. And what I realize, even maybe their temperament, their attitude, not being educated on what the other guys are doing, right? And, and so they come at it the wrong way, and then they have a bad experience at it. And we see a lot of them come to us when they've had a bad experience. And so we've got to kind of re-educate them a little bit. But I want to talk a little bit about royalty rates because everybody thinks that's like the most important thing in a deal is the royalty rates. And I'm like, well, it is, but it's one thing. I mean, you have to do the math mm -hmm. because you might realize that you're so set on a 10% royalty rate and you don't even know why. You just think 10% Because a higher royalty rate means I make more money. Yes, and that maybe is true. Okay, but you have to realize if you do the math and you, you figure out how many stores this, this particular your, your product's going to be in by how many stores your potential licensee is currently in, figure they're going to sell one a week because if not, it's going to get kicked to the curb pretty quick. You can do the math. You can do a 3%, 4%, 5%, 6% and do a chart to see yeah. where. And you might realize, wow, now to me it's all greed. Well, yeah, and you you know if you're selling in a Walmart, Target, Lowe's, and Home Depot, and you look at how many WalMarts they are, and look how many Targets, and and so you got to do the numbers. So I think the point that I'm just going to be very direct, and what Stephen's trying to say here is, is you know a half a percent royalty rate if they're selling a bazillion units might be great. I know. So so if if they're selling half a million units a year, and you're getting a five percent royalty, that might be extremely generous of them. I know. You know, I know, it all depends. It all depends. So it all it does depend. I think what's more important than the royalty rates, but you have to do the math. So you know that if you're if you're working with the company and they they tell you three, but you've got to have that four percent. What are you really losing, right? Yeah. Because you could gain it in other areas, right? Your minimum guarantees might be a little bit higher. You could negotiate, so you have to hit certain sales figures, guaranteed, guaranteed, or you get it back. Maybe they pay for your patents, right? Maybe they, maybe who knows what they can do, but I think the minimum guarantees is very, very important because that's going to allow you that if they don't perform, you get it back. Well, let's so, address the thing we addressed in another video we did recently. So somebody's looking up this video about royalty rates. Is Sometimes people think, like, if I start a business and I sell it myself, well, I could get 20% profit margin. Why would I want to get five or seven or whatever? Well, you selling 5,000 units or 10,000 units or 20,000 units, I don't care, a year, and getting a 20% profit margin and working 60 to 80 hour work weeks on this business, dumping everything else that you're doing aside, or them selling half a million units a year, and you not having to do any work, you do the math. <laughs> you do the math. You know, I well, mean, so, and these are things that Stephen and I know well, but I think when a lot of people are new to licensing Stephen, which is what our YouTube show is all about, is to help them realize this. And I think this is one little video about royalty rates will put things into well, perspective for they them. Also, they also have to realize that the average royalty rate that we have seen over the years is about 5%. It's pretty average. It's the most common. Yeah. If one of our students did 25, though, didn't he? Well, there, there's always going to be situations, yeah, but that's a pretty good, that's an average royalty rate. If it's a large volume, 
let's say it's a consumable where the numbers are staggering, that could be a three to two. If it's mm-hmm. a double royalty, like the Michael Jordan wall ball, where Michael, it was an idea I came up with that I had to share the royalties because sometimes you have to share the royalties. It's called a split royalty. They got half, I got half. Okay, fair enough. That's a different situation. If, um, if you've done a lot of work, let's say you've done CAD drawings. Let's say you've done some testing. Let's say you've done, you built a prototype. Let's say you even have the tooling. You might get a seven or eight. Now, here's where it's hard to get over 10. Disney gets over 10, right? And they're Disney. So yeah. put it in perspective, right, guys? You're not Disney. I can guarantee it. And they get over 10. So, yeah. so you, 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 and even Disney, it's kind of interesting. If you look at them, when Lion King was like the biggest movie ever, I had heard, I don't personally, you know, I don't have, you know, I wasn't involved in that, but I heard that that royalty rate was about 20% at that time. It was like the highest ever. Oh, my God. That's insane. Yeah. When I was, when I was a Disney So if license, somebody wanted to make a, some product and throw the 20%. Lion King on there, they need, they need to pay Disney a, a very high That's percentage. because they were, they were doing extremely well. Um, when I was a Disney licensee, it was a little bit over 10. And yeah. mine was a really small. It was guitar picks. Um, I have heard also if you were – um, I had heard this through secondhand. Someone told me that if it was a consumable, like a beverage, it could be as low as maybe four or five percent. So it all comes down to the numbers too. Even for there are students when they're doing consumer products, just to give everybody a read, it's quite often it's a five percent royalty. But it's Very all volume. It's always but keep vo- in mind the volume and the price point too. Is it a five thousand dollar product or a nineteen ninety five product or a uh, uh, ninety nine cent product? Yeah, you know? your royalty rate. Um, I would go out on a limb and say can always probably be a little less if the volume's pretty big. So uh, this, uh, since we're coming to the basics on this video, Stephen, so it's one volume, how much volume are they going to do, how many units are they going to sell a year, two, what the royalty rate is, and three, what's the price of the product? Is it a $500 product, a $19 product, or a, or a $0.99 cent product? And when you do those, those, factor those three things in, you can figure out what royalty is. You go, well, you could do it right now if you want to do it for fun, get a calculator out, Go, well, okay, if they sold uh, 400,000 units at this price with this royalty rate, you could figure out what your royalties are. You be. might even, once you do the math, you might even realize, well, why would I even license it to that company? They don't have if the it, volume. If, right. And that's part of the process that we teach our students. They interview the company about what yeah. kind of volume they can do. And if the volume's not, you calculate and you go, well, damn, these guys aren't as big as I thought. You know, um, and that's part of the part of the doing the deal. But sometimes the small deal is better than no deal at all if nobody else was interested. Well, it, it is if you've exhausted all possibilities. Yeah. And they're the only one there, then maybe you say yes. But then yeah. again, maybe you, you don't even give them an exclusive. Maybe you give them a non-exclusive because the volumes aren't going to be there. So you can – maybe they only have a small part of it. So royalty rates, you guys, there is no one set royalty rate. That's the whole thing. It's, it has all these different factors going on, but always gather information, do the math at the end of the day, see how many units you're going to sell, and see if it's the right fit for the company. That's basically the basics. Right? Yeah, yeah. Good. All right. So Good. if you guys like the show, give us a thumbs up down below. Um, subscribe to the channel too, and we'll catch up with you on another InventRight.com TV show. See you guys. Bye.